Hey guys, uh, so we're six days out from the surgery, still feeling like crap. So today's video is going to be one I've had in the uh, in the can, as they say in Hollywood, for a while. One I've been waiting on on um, how to do some SMD soldering with you know standard through hole soldering gear. I know it's a short one, but hey, what the heck? I hope it helps you, and uh, we'll see you soon. Hey, what's happening guys? Today I thought we would take a look at doing a little bit of SMD soldering when you don't have the proper uh, SMD soldering equipment. It can be done with through hole stuff. It's a little bit more difficult, but you can do it. So the first thing really is you're not going to want to use your standard through hole uh, chisel tip. In this case I'm using a T12 D24. That's my main soldering tip I use. Um, there's a couple that you can use, like for instance, this is a T12 BC2. This is good for uh, drag soldering. What I'm going to end up using today, I think, is probably this one over here. If I can get it out. And, you know, there's always one that don't want to come out. Yeah, this is the IL tip. This is a conical tip. So that's one we'll use. Let me uh, fire up the iron. This board that we're using today is uh, part of the uh, do-it-yourself multimeter kit. There's the information on it. It was sent to me by a kind reader who's probably wondering why he hasn't seen it yet. Well, I just started working on it you know, about a month after he sent it to me, so you should be seeing it pretty soon. All right, so what we've got are three small ICs. And I'm going to be using um, some anti-static tweezers to maneuver them. We have this first one, which is what? One, two, three, four. I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a 12-pin IC. And then we have a couple of 8-pin ICs that go in those different places. So. I'm going to start with the 12 pins, so I'm just going to move these 8 pin jobs out of the way. Now, if we take a look here at this pad, and let's zoom in. You can see it is quite small. Oops. Let me grab a scale here. and you can get an idea on the pitch. So I'm going to make sure I've got a good clean soldering iron. You're going to want to use the thinnest solder you have. This is the stuff I have. It is a 22 gauge .032 inch 6040 solder. And what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of flux to one pad there. Well, I know I got it on more than one, but I only want it on one. Tin my iron just a slight bit, gives it a little help with thermal transfer. And then I'm going to tin just this pad, just like that. Okay? So now we've got some tin on our pad. I'm going to bring in our chip. This is very touchy work. And make sure we got everything lined up as best as we can. Oh, sacre bleu. That son of a gun just fell right off there, didn't it? All right, let's try that again.
the key is getting one pad tacked down and then once we do that we're going to do the same on the opposite side over here flux is key it will keep things well it will keep solder from going where it shouldn't okay so now that I have the corners of my chip tacked down and we should be yeah, pretty solid there I'm going to apply a generous amount of flux make sure my tip is clean just come in here make sure we're touching both the pad and the pin oh got a bridge this is why you want to use the thinnest tip you have and the thinnest solder you have and make sure you're using plenty of flux the flux really helps you from getting solder in places that you don't want it okay there's one side down We'll flux up the other side here. Let's see if I can get you a different angle or view of me working here. Cleaning my tip. Tinning my tip. Trying to get that solder up on there like that. All right. More flux. That flux evaporated in the few seconds it took me to reposition the camera. So I'm going to be careful with that. I want to be sure that you're getting solder flowing up onto the pins, not just on the pad. If you're good and fluxed, you'll be able to see the solder when it flows up onto the pins. All right, let's see if we can get you a better view. This is jerky, I'm holding it. And they ain't beautiful. Surface mount is not my thing. But there's our first one. All right, so let's move on to the second one. All right, I've already tinned that first pad up for us. Bring in the IC. One of the keys, whether it's surface mount or through hole, is definitely going to be comfort. You need to be comfortable. You need to be able to see what you're doing. Like I know all you can see there is my thumb. Hopefully I got that on there. Yeah, a little bit. Alright, let's flex up the opposite pin over here. We'll get that one soldered. Good. Now we can just kind of walk that solder right up on the pins. Yep, I know I got a bridge there. I'll correct it in a second. Cleaning off the iron. There we go. This one is a uh, not behaving so well. 
getting her all flexed up there. I know you can't see it. The iron wipe. Basically, I guess the lesson I'm trying to get here is when you see the solder climb up the, the leg, the pin, that's when you know you got it good. Those really ain't good. <laughs> they're acceptable. Like that one's, that one's got too much solder. But there are no bridges, so not too bad. One more to go. Remember, flex, 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 clean, clean, clean. Use the uh, smallest solder you have and the thinnest iron. Make sure you're paying attention to your pin markers. That first one is always the uh, the trickiest. Again, you know, if I was 20 years old, had better eyes, smoother hands, this wouldn't be so difficult. It wouldn't be such a challenge. But I'm not. You know, I'm 50. The eyes aren't what they used to be. The hands aren't what they well hell nothing's what it used to be. But I can do it in a pinch. It's like that uh old Toby Keith song, you know. I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. I like to think that. Whether it's the truth or not, I don't know. I mean when it comes to this kind of stuff I can get by. I'm not worried. All right, let's take a look at those joints. Sorry, I've got a magnifying lens on here and we're hand holding. On the top, the second one in from the left looks like it needs reflowed. Those are acceptable. Notice I'm not calling any of these good. Merely acceptable. Okay, so this one up here still needs a little work. Let's see what we got now. All right. I think we are. Uh, I think we're all soldered up there. So anyway, kids, boys and girls, men and women, chitlins of all ages, you can do SMD work without, you know, hot air, paste, and stencils. It's a pain in the butt, but it can be done. You know, for something like this where you've only got three ICs, not a big deal. You know, you got to do 100 of them, then you want paste and a stencil. That's all there is to it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks for sending this in. That's it. I'm out. Peace.